And that is our waning crescent moon, just 2% full, but how's that for a shot? Pretty cool this morning, thanks to our video engineer, Stan down the hall for sending that up this morning. We appreciate it. 43 degrees, normal high temperature this time of year. We started the week 10 degrees below that. We were right at freezing on Monday. And then, of course, we had the Arctic air, air here for the first day of the new year on Tuesday with 12. We warmed to 38 back on Wednesday. Yesterday we made it 56, today 60. So a big warming trend from the beginning of this week. You probably noticed how nice it was yesterday afternoon. It's going to be even nicer than that today. Really two beautiful January days today and tomorrow. Sunday won't be bad, just a little cooler and definitely a lot more cloud cover. Now there is some really cold air for some mountain valleys. Minus 13 in Gunnison this morning. A little on the chilly side out on the plains as well, but 20s there. Certainly a big improvement from earlier in the week. Later today, still struggling to warm up up out west, but here along the front range, we'll top out right around 60 degrees. Tomorrow, finally, the western slope, you start warming up above freezing out west. Here at lower elevations in the eastern half of the state, we'll be back up close to 60 again tomorrow, although many of us may top out in the 50s for Saturday. Storm responsible for the snow at the beginning of this week. It's now over uh, the Ozark region. It's going to make its way toward the east coast this weekend. Eventually, D.C. and Philly and New York and Boston, they're all going to get a lot of rain, weather-related delays there. High pressure building in and for us, it's going to keep us dry today, tonight, and tomorrow. The return flow, the westerly flow on the backside of that high is what's going to warm things up. And then we're still watching this storm uh, for California this weekend. They'll have a wet weekend out there. And there's the potential of three to eight inches of snow for our mountains Sunday into Monday as that storm moves in. Most of that accumulation is going to be on southwest facing slopes. Here's Sunday, 6 a.m. Most of the snow west of El Paso at that point. But by Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening, Summit County up toward Winter Park will get the snow late Sunday. For Denver, I don't think we'll see any more than an uptick in cloud cover and a bit cooler at the end of the weekend.